Shalom, Jake, Shalom. <clears throat> Romans 12, verse 6, having then gives differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to proportion of faith. See, brothers, they're going to have different levels in this truth, okay? Brothers have different levels of faith, okay? And like I told you, I'm, I'm new to this, okay? My faith might not be on the same level as a brother who's been in this for many years, okay? And it shows, right? I mean, what did Paul say? All right, since I brought it up, let me get it. James 2, verse 17, even so faith... If it has not works, it's dead being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy works without show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. You see that? And you'll see why I bring this up in a second. Alright, Romans twelve verse seven. Or ministry let us wait on our ministering, or he that teacheth on teaching. O he that exhorteth on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. And see, a, a lot of brothers, and it's truth, they, hey, they've been brotherly to me. I'm going to be brotherly to them. All right. <clears throat> let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another. And see, you're supposed to treat your um your fellow workmen like your brother. Really, all these brothers, right? Because, hey, I'm learning from them. They're putting their life on the line. And um, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I was listening to the video. Um, Let me show you. With from Apostle Tahar, uh, babies in Kenya get MOTB. Um, he uh, was commenting on my video concerning that. And remember, um, these are apostles, okay? I believe they're the leaders over all of Israel, all right? And like I said, I, I used to be a camp hop. I used to follow HOI, Sakari, uh, ISUBK, and I kept having dreams. As soon as I started listening to uh, GMS, that they was the leaders over all of Israel. Now, the only reason why I bring this up is because um, I think he said that um, he didn't play it because they might copyright it. Um, any, any of you brothers, you can share my video. You can record my video. You can put it on your own page. You can put your video on my page, your link, whatever. Because, like I said, not only did I see that they was the leaders, I seen that we was a brotherhood. Okay, and that's real, real important. You dudes can post your videos, whatever you do on my page. If it's a if it's a, a video and I watch it, I'll share, I'll turn around and reshare because what they're doing with this AI, they're hiding people videos, they're taking people likes, they're taking um people watch numbers, which ultimately that's the most high shutting this down. Okay. So yeah, you brothers, look. Like I said, you can post your link on my page. If I if I get a chance to watch it, I'll repost it myself. Okay? Because the Clipman Brothers videos, they're doing a lot of things to Brothers videos. Right? So, yeah, as far as copywriting, I would never do that. Now, YT might do that. I don't, I don't know how that procedure works. All we know is, hey, I don't like the truth and they don't like the truth. But that's the way Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah set it up. Right? So, yeah, the reason I bring this video up is because I did further research this morning. And let me show you what else I found out. Because you're seeing all this fighting across the globe starting to amp up. And one thing that I, that, um, I got a, a feeling about, not only do I got a feeling about it, I know it's scriptural, is all hell is breaking loose. You're going to have people, as we always say, they're going to go to Egypt for help. Right? They're going to go to Egypt. Actually, let me get that scripture. Isaiah 30, verse 2. That walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked 
and my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And who is the Lord's mouthpiece? You jakes that are breaking down the scriptures. Okay. Like I told you, I, I believe the GMS, I believe they're the, they're the, um, they're the mouthpiece with the one percent truth. Now you have other jakes out there with other, um, one West groups that are also breaking down the scriptures, but for some reason they can't see this MOTB. That is the oddest thing to me because this is coming out now. They just made it mandatory in Kenya. That was the video that I uh, was watching that, um, Apostle to how I went into. Okay, let's keep going. Isaiah 30, verse 3 Therefore, show the strength of Pharaoh be a shame and a trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. And see, it's going to be it's going to be tumultuous times, great tribulation, and people are going to be running down to these different governments, um, getting on these buses. I told you I had a dream when I was younger. Me and my, my mother, she wanted to get on a, the FEMA bus. I thought, oh, hell no, we need to go the other way. And somehow we escaped, right? Because I, I have a lot of dreams. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I did more research into this. Okay, because we know a lot was going on with Iran, a lot of different things. Now, I'm reading the, the computer screen right now. Iran is reporting that they may attack U.S. bases. Okay, let me get it. Now, I just took a picture of it because it was flashed across my screen. If you read the bottom, it say Iranian army wants U.S. if it cooperates with... Let's keep going. Okay, look at what it says. The next possible actions. So Iran is pretty much saying they're going to strike Israel again. Okay. Let's keep going. It's saying next possible actions. U.S. bases will be dealt with. So what they're saying is, is that they will attack the U.S. next. And we know eventually... Um, Gog, Magog, all these other nations, Moab, they're all going to join up together. All right. Now, let me show you what's going on, because these people, they're starting to see that Jake's been warning them. OK, they've been warning them that this was going to happen and MOTB was going to come into play. Now, let me show you what I just found out. Now remember, it's not just Bill Gates, it's Elon Musk, it's, it's all these all these WEF members. All right, they're all together on this. Let me show you what I found out. When we tell you this man can't hide anymore. Now, now check this out. This is from Marca. I believe this may be an African newspaper. Look at what it says. Bill Gates creates plan to change the ID card as we know it how he plans to take control of identity so hey these people they're literally gonna um like we was talking about with kenya they're gonna be able to take control over people identities all right and they're gonna try to put these people in 15 minute cities whatever level you on is the level you're gonna be on all right um apostle alarm lot did some something on that where they're gonna you're gonna get a monthly stipend you're going to get, um, I think it was only $1,500. I don't remember exactly. Brothers did lessons on it. And if you're rich, then you get you get like a certain amount of money and, and, and laws and everything. So they're setting up a, a, a digital dictatorship. All right. Now watch this. Bill Gates has been fond of telling his theories and future predictions on different global issues. He started with the, I'm not going to say it, you see what it says. And moved on to issues such as artificial intelligence. The last thing he talked about was the, the, the ID card. All right. Luke 8 verse 16, O man, when he have lighted a candle, cover it with a vessel, or put it under a bed, but set it on a candlestick, that they which enter and may see the light. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything here that shall not be known and come abroad. Now, let me show you what else uh, Bill Gates just did. 
for the 850 million people around the world who lack any acceptable form of legal ID. The answer is no. Proof of identity allows people to prove that they have a legal identity. Proof of identity enables people to participate fully in the economy. It facilitates access to employment and education as well as services such as banking, government programs, health care, explain gates, and the post on this Gates Notes blog. Now, these other camps, they got some explaining to do. Now, watch this. The main problem is low income and undeveloped countries where IDs are something that 50 percent of people do not have. The philanthropist says is a formidable solution has emerged a customizable open source digital ID system called the modular open source identity pro platform. It's called MOSSIP. That is available to all countries free of charge. <clears throat> it's an open source customizable system. So when some of these people get locked up, they get in trouble or whatever, they the, the police they, they may set it up so they can they can't be used. They're gonna have to stay in the house for 30 days. Okay, they can turn it their uh see up on and off. It can be customized with the um you can't leave the city, all right. Now, now, now check this out. A small but powerful team in India developed this technology to create national ID systems with funding from our foundation since 2018. This is the part I want you to hear. 11 countries, nine of them in Africa and two in Asia have signed memorandum of understanding with Mossad to pilot the system. He went on to explain. Now, I don't know if anyone uh, noticed. Didn't uh, Microsoft just release an AI system called um, called the Pilot, called Copilot? Now remember, this is going to be customizable, open source digital ID system. And Microsoft just released a program called Copilot. You see that? By connecting people and facilitating the movement of money and exchange of information. See, you ain't going to be able to buy and sell. You see that? The movement of money and exchange. IPD is in many ways the modern equivalent of the roads and bridges that help reshape the economies in the 19th century. He noted in his blog. In addition, Gates noted that in a few years, his company could be in possession of 99% of a country's data if it starts to be used. So this man is going to have trying to have access to 99% of a country's data. You see, digital slavery. You see. And, and, and Sleepy Joe doing something, being Creepy Joe with Eva Longoria in his post. But um, let's keep going. And look, this is Microsoft Copilot. Now look at what it says. Copilot is pioneering chat assistance powered by the latest open AI modules, GPT-4, GPT Dolly E3, and uh, other different platforms. Now remember, the guy who used to work for... um. Google, he said that he felt as though AI was sentient, right? Now we, hey, and and it must say it's like summoning a demon, right? Now remember, with these uh these countries, this is a whole look at what it says: an open source digital system. I'm highlighting it. Open source digital ID system called the Modular Open Source Identity Platform. And it's going to be free of charge. And this is how they're going to access these people. All right. I didn't know that many countries already signed up. Let me see if I can find a list of them countries for you, Jigs, right quick. I can't find it, Jake. Forgive me for that. But it's called Digital IDs. 50 countries ranked by digital ID requirements and use. Now, look at this. Germany has an ID card with digital function action activated. Hong Kong has an app linked to ID card. India has ID number with optional app. And hey, this information is starting to come out. It's starting to come out. You see? 
This is Comparatech digital 50 countries ranked by digital ID requirements and use. Pretty soon you ain't gonna be able to do nothing without a digital ID. See, we told you it was coming that these other camps they got some explaining to do. Because this is all linked to the MOTB. Digital IDs are held as a convenient way to access government services, prevent identity theft, and create official efficient systems. You see that? And we know in the midst of this, as these people go down to Egypt for help, these wars are going to keep um, lighting up and heating up all across the planet. All right? Little skirmishes here. Entire um, wars. And then eventually this place is going to be destroyed because all these nations are going to turn against this place. Right? So, yeah, I just wanted to get that out to the family. This thing is spreading. These other camps, they got some explaining to do. And on CNN, they're reporting now that um, Japan is talking about helping Taiwan if um, China invade them. You see, that's why we tell you these other camps, that especially the ones that are in Africa, they better start explaining this. Because what do I say? Let me get that scripture. This is Jeremiah 23. Verse 1 through 3. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. Except the Lord. Therefore thus says the Lord Yahweh of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit you upon, upon you the evil of your doings, said the Lord. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where I have driven them, and I will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. Call her law, Yahweh Bashimi, I will shine a lot of these pastors. They refuse to tell you about the MOTB. They refusing to. And what the hell is gonna happen to all these pastors that's um in Africa? Yeah, this is the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. This is their webpage. So um, if any of you jigs you want to find out more about it, some of you jigs are um, just way more knowledgeable than me anyway. So you can probably go ahead and find them, um, all them countries that are linked up to the system. But we know through the web, it's going to be all of them, right? The WEF. So yeah, I'm going to get one more scripture and leave it there, Jake. But as you can see, this thing is happening, okay? So yeah, I'll see you again real soon. Let me get the scripture. Now, when you read right here, it says that 138 country, 130 countries are collaborating with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So we see what's going on. All right. We see what's going on. All right. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to get a script and leave it there, Jake. But as you can see, you got so far um, 11 countries that we know about that are also signing up for the program the same way Kenya is. All right. Now, I don't know about these other 30 countries, but they do work with Bill and Melinda Gates. So they all taking bags and handouts. All these politicians, right? <clears throat> and, hey, we told Jake not to take the MOTV, but as you can see, that this system is literally set up in the background. And they right, they waiting for the right moment to execute it. Isaiah 66, verse 15, for the for behold, this, the Lord will come with fire and with his charge like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. And we know he's going to slay people from one end of the earth to the other. All right. Stay prayed up. I'll see you again real soon. Call her law. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And they're reporting how many rockets and everything was fired um, from Iran. I'm going to show you right quick. I'll see you again real soon, Jake Shalom. This is what they're saying. Shalom.